I'm Julie Lathrop, Chief Scientist at Prolias, and I'm going to talk about how Prolias leverages the tremendous diversity available in combinatorial peptide libraries with affinity interactions to select and develop ligands to any desired protein target. Affinity bioseparation is the most specific form of protein separation in use today. Various affinity ligands have been developed, including intact or fragments of antibodies that are immobilized on beads, oligonucleotide ligands called aptamers, small molecule ligands such as afibodies and others. At Prolias, we use peptides synthesized on chromatography resin beads as our affinity molecule of choice. The Prolias libraries are synthesized on the chromatography resin beads by the split couple recombine or one bead one compound method of solid phase peptide synthesis. This strategy results in a library of microscopic resin beads, each containing picomole concentrations of a single peptide sequence, and each bead theoretically has a different ligand than every other bead. Because the base polymer on which a ligand is immobilized can have a large impact on the nature of the interaction between the ligand and the target protein, a key benefit of the Prolias libraries, as compared with other common sources such as phage display libraries, is that the ligands are synthesized directly on chromatography resin beads. This means the ligands that are identified can be scaled up directly from a single bead to kilograms of chromatography resin using the identical synthesis chemistry that was used to make the library in the first place. This is not the case with other ligands which have to be moved from the discovery backbone to a preparative backbone. The Perlias library based resin has been extensively evaluated and shown not to interact with blood and plasma proteins. In split couple recombined synthesis, empty resin is divided into a variety of reaction vessels containing different monomers, and the first monomer, in the case of these libraries, an amino acid, is covalently attached to the bead. The beads are recovered from the different reaction vessels, pooled, washed, and deprotected, and then randomly redistributed into more reaction vessels, which can, can contain the same or different monomers as the first set of reactions. The beads after coupling the second amino acid are again recovered, pooled, and washed, and the process repeated as many times as desired. At the end, each bead has an individual history through the synthesis protocol, resulting in a collection of beads in which every bead has picomole quantities of single ligand sequence, and every bead is theoretically different from every other bead. Because the number of building blocks is almost unlimited, it is possible to generate a library with a vast diversity of ligands available for screening. After the library is synthesized, it's combined with a starting material containing the target protein that you want to find a ligand for. Affinity bioseparation is the most specific form of protein separation in use today. It takes advantage of the exquisite sensitivity and specificity of the three-dimensional interactions between a ligand and its target protein. The ligand sequence and structure both play a role in the specificity of the interaction. Affinity interactions of widespread research and industrial uses from large-scale commercial protein purification to bench-scale array analysis of protein ligand interactions. A starting material is mixed with the combinatorial library, and the starting material can be as simple as a recombinant protein spiked into buffer to the most complex biological materials such as whole blood. The proteins will interact with and bind to their specific affinity ligands, and all of the proteins, nucleic acids, and other molecules in the starting material will bind to and be fractionated and concentrated on their individual ligands. And because the binding of the proteins are controlled by the thermodynamics of the specific interaction, very high affinity interactions are not subject to competition between more abundant proteins and trace proteins, so that ligands to very low concentration proteins such as cytokines can be identified from comp straight from complex mixtures like blood or plasma without worrying about interference of proteins such as albumin. The unbound proteins are washed off the resin. As the abundant proteins quickly saturate their limited number of specific high affinity ligands, the majority of these proteins such as albumin remain in the unbound fractions. What remains after washing is a collection of beads with bound proteins that represents almost every protein in the original sample but at a much smaller concentration range. For example, the initial plasma concentrate, protein concentration covers about 10 orders of magnitude. After binding and, and washing off of the unbound proteins, what remains on the bead are all of the proteins that were originally present, but now at a concentration range of closer to 10 to the fifth. The diversity of the libraries provides the opportunity for universe of interactions between a specific protein and its ligand. 
including ionic, hydrophobic, and more complex interactions. In this slide, although a single mixture of polyclonal antibody labeled with alkaline phosphatase was incubated with library, a whole host of different interactions are taking place as evidenced by the variety of color seen in the picture. If the binding was nonspecific or through, for example, the FC region of the antibody, all of the beads would be identical in color and intensity. Once the proteins are fractionated and concentrated on the library, Herlias's B blood selection method enables us to identify ligands to the proteins. The beads with their bound proteins are immobilized in a gel, and all of the proteins that are on these beads are eluded from them using a selection of elution buffers that are chosen to disrupt particular protein ligand interactions. The eluded proteins are captured on a membrane, and the position of the particular protein of interest is detected by a variety of means, including by what antibodies in a western blot. This results in a film or membrane with spots indicating the location of the target protein. Because all of the proteins bound to any bead are going to be eluded under these conditions, on the membrane you have a collection of any protein from any bead that, was, that, bound, that bound the protein of interest. When the membrane with spots is aligned with the gel with beads, the spots indicate the beads that bound the target protein. The bead can then be picked out of the gel, the ligand sequence, and scaled up to make a resin that binds a protein for analytical evaluation. In this slide, you can see the red alignment beads, which are positive control beads, indicated by arrows, and a white bead aligning with a spot, the white bead being a library bead, which bound the protein target of interest. As an example of a relatively low concentration protein purified out of plasma, here we can see von Willebrand factor purified on the peptide ligand identified by the bead blot. A single application of plasma applied to a column of VWF resin, the unbound proteins washed off and the VWF was eluded under conditions that maintain the activity. We also found that this ligand also purifies factor eight, which circulates in the plasma in complex with von Willebrand factor. Here we have an example of a peptide ligand that purifies fibrinogen in factor 13. Again, an endogenous protein complex that circulates in plasma. In this case, plasma was applied to the resin, the unbound proteins washed off, fibrinogen eluded, then the column stripped um, and regenerated multiple applications of plasma and purification of fibrinogen were performed on the same column of fibrinogen peptide. Perlias has used the bead blot to select ligands to proteins as diverse in concentration and function as hemoglobin and cytokines. Several Perlias ligands have been scaled up into commercial protein purification resins, and we have over 400 ligands that we've identified to a host of different pr target proteins. Perlias currently is offering a number of catalog resins and in addition, we're offering custom services for identifying peptide ligands and development of the ligands to any target protein that might be of interest to a client.